What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Top Tier Breaks. I'm James with you, as always. And I'll be doing your riffing. What up, peeps? Welcome, welcome to Wednesday Night Breaks here at Top Tier. And it's release day for 2024 Heritage. So we're going to get uh, two third case breaks of that, and then we're going to rock some Triple E. And then after that, uh, we will have case of leaf vivid to end the night off with so who's all up in here and ready what up bob ben what's going on and james what's up amy how's it going and everybody else not in the, oh there's chris as well howdy chris and uh, everybody else not in the chat welcome 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 we got uh some heritage right the only thing about heritage is, is with the uh the, the the variations and stuff like that it's very tough to see those so I will, I will mention it probably throughout the break as well, but make sure that when you get the, I'm probably going to miss a few of the variations. They're very tough to find out unless we open pack by pack by pack, and then it probably take us two hours to, to, to rip this. So um, I will do my best, though, to try and find uh, all of the variations. Naturally, great. And if somebody sees one that they know is a variation and I miss it, don't hesitate to call it out for sure, right? Especially those color swap ones, those are super tough. Image variations we can maybe see, but anyways, ripped a third of the case earlier tonight. Did have the hot box in that third case, um, the chrome hot box. So we won't be having that tonight, unfortunately. Yes, I did have the hot box for the case this afternoon, John. Yep. Um, all right, Brian, redeeming a skunk. I just need your. Uh, Team and break number off the back of that skunk, and uh, and then I'll get you your tokens, and then you'll get a Bears Bowl pick here at the end. We got 2547, 2024 Heritage, third case. We got Dimebacks, Paul B, Braves, Matt P, Orioles, Bob S, Red Sox, Christopher K, Cubs, Larry B, the White Sox, Tim L, Reds, Jonathan T, Guardians, Thomas M, Rockies, Paul B, Tigers, Rob P, the Astros, John M, Royals, Michael E, Angels, John M, Dodgers, uh, Greg W, Marlins, Mike K, the Brewers, Joshua H, Twins, Roy J, Mets, Tom V, Yankees, Stephen K, A's, John M, the Phillies, Stephen K, Pirates, Paul B, Padres, Mike K, Giants, Richard R, the Mariners, Nick B. Nick, I'll send you your golden ticket 28s with this. Um, Cardinals, Michael E, Rays, Hashim L, the uh, Rangers, Dustin S, Blue Jays, Kevin T, Nats, Paul B, and the Celebrity Cut Sigs, and uh, non-baseball flashbacks. Uh, so all the flashbacks that are non-baseball will also go to Andrew G. Yeah, it didn't work out too good for us tonight, did it, Larry? No, sir. I was, I was at Little League practice all night, so I didn't have to watch it. And I, was, I actually I accidentally caught the score on, on one of my notifications. I'm like, well, <laughs> didn't have to watch that debacle, did I? Oh, well. Long season. Long season. We're doing, I, I, I like where we're at right now. We're, we're doing all right. All right, here we go. eBay sweepstakes. No purchase or payments necessary to enter that sweepstakes. You've got to follow the links that I have in the description of this video. It'll take you to the website. It'll give you all that info. All right, and our box topper is going to be Mr. Lou Brock going out the Cardinals. There we go. All right, Zane. Redeemed skunked. All right, thanks, Brian. Let me add you both, you guys, before we go any further, so I don't forget. I'll add you both your uh, tokens here. Uh, Brian, do you got a team tonight? I guess I didn't look at the list. Um, and both of you, if you don't, if you do have a team, great. Um, if not, you don't need one. Just we'll hold on to. If you pull something out of the bowl, I'll hold on to it until you do have another team. Uh, so both of you, let me know if you got a team tonight, so I'm gonna look through all the lists. Um, and if so, obviously we'll go with that. Or just if you do get, if you do need uh, me to hold it until you get a team in the future, just uh, um, message me when you get that team on that thread or you know from that purchase or whatever, so I know I can make a list, uh, a note to send those through those. All right, so let me get that done right quick, like. Alright, Brian 
Zane got yours, and Zane, yours is coming. Zane, you didn't have your uh, subscriber tokens, so I'll add those to you as well. So I'm actually going to add you 700, 200 for your subscriber tokens, and 500 for your... Oh, you don't don't have to, Brian. Just just message me when you do have a team. When you do ever get a team, if if you pull something that needs shipped, just and I'll hold it here until you, until you have another one, and then I'll send it with that. Uh, I'll send it with that one as well, or send it with that one. Same with you, Zane. Vivid doesn't start till midnight, though. Sandy. Yes, yeah, Vivid. Vivid starts, what, two and a half hours, something like that? Yeah, three breaks before. Did I mess up on the... Hopefully I didn't mess up on the uh, break time on the listing. Sometimes that'll happen. What's up, Grant? Report. So, Heritage after the uh, 75 top set. All right, again, got all the variations. Very tough to find the variations. They don't, they got the SPs now. There's SPs, anything numbered from, what, 1 to 100 in the set is an SP. Those are backwards. But the ones that are tough to find, <laughs> those ones are not backwards. So again, if anybody notices this one that I miss, make sure you point it out. The white borders are easy. All right. All right, let's go. All right, so we're gonna do a roll for these, and we have a uh, we have uh, cards that have four players on it. We'll do a roll for those as well. So we'll do that here after this pack, as far as those rolls go. Nice uh, Raffaella there. All right, there's a uh, white border Brady Singer. You can see if uh, they're all they're all uh, written right there in that little uh, number box there if they are uh, a variation so at least you got that going for this set here um, but some of them are very tough to see there's one of those short prints it's Harold Ramirez again that's anything numbered from five to or from one to one hundred well, that is not but it's nice uh, from there seems like I want to check the backs of almost every card which is obviously not not possible to do but all right sweet Nico Horner going out the cubbies on the clubhouse collection and a short print study gray. Okay, this music is not a thing. <laughs> Might be skipping a lot of songs tonight. <clears throat> nice J Law. Alright, in the uh what is this? What is this? Uh, the Desert Storm packs <laughs> with that flashbacks. Get to the chop up. <laughs> uh, enough of that. We need to do that. Maybe I can do that. Maybe that's not too bad to do. It's just a pull few. Look at them. 
and there's a short print Luis Camposano going out the Padres. Oh, I still got to do that roll for the uh, dual cards, yes. But anyway, again, most importantly, just make sure you look at the backs of your cards when you do get them in case I do miss some uh, short prints here, which is a very, or variations, which is a very easy thing to do. I will try to, we can't do that, look at the backs of every single one of them, so... I did notice that a lot of them are in front of these short prints, though. So maybe that's a thing that we can, uh, you know, look at in front of those short prints. There's a Carlos Santana short print. Nice soda there. I like that they got the simile autos on them. Um, on the fronts of them. Make it look pretty good. There's a sweet show, hey. Going out to the Dodgers. And the uh, flashbacks, that is a uh, killer brew going off the Royals, a Royals killer brew. All right, there's a uh, white border. Simeon going off the Rangers. Nice Mason Wind rookie of the Cardinals. Short print. That's a uh, Angels Shohei short print right there. All right, again, short prints in the break this morning or this afternoon. I think we pulled 25 or 30 of those, so they're not super rare. Not of that same card, but just of any of the uh, any of them together. Here is a Chrome parallel of Lindor going out to the Mets. That is number 93 of 999. One we should be able to tell though is the missing signature on the front, or the uh, missing signature on the front, or um, of the base cards, right? Or the uh, oh, what the hell's the other one? Um, nickname ones. There's Dominic Smith on the short print. Determined to figure out a rhyme or reason to where they're at, though. That's why I keep on looking at the backs of a lot of them, just to see if I'm missing some. At some point here, we'll figure it out. There's got to be a rhyme or reason to where they're at. They're not just, they're in a certain part of the pack, right? Um, so anyways, there's short print Alex Cobb. Jaywalk going out the Cardinals, followed by Zach Eflin. All right, first pack down. Let me get those put away here. Their first box down. So I mean, I don't know if they're. I haven't looked at the odds yet to see like when all these short prints or image variations come up. But you know, would it kill them to just put them backwards? Like, would it be that big of a deal? They put all the short print ones backwards. Uh, let's do the uh, let's do this roll here. This will work for all of the dual cards with uh, different teams, obviously. So I'm gonna give one, two, and three to the left, four, five, and six to the right. Whatever I roll, um, that's where every card with dual players will go for the break. So that is a five. So all of them are gonna go to the right side. Yeah, the music. I got some weird filters put on the music tonight, so I have no idea what's going to become of it. This song feels like it should be in the movie Austin Powers. <laughs> we'll just have the deal. All right, our box topper is going to be a Don Sutton going out the Dodgers. Sutton. All 
Like we could try to just rip them singularly. I don't know how much longer that would take. Probably a probably a while longer. There's a uh, Mauricio Dubon. Like it would be my understanding that it'd be right there, right? We're not going to do that. Joshua. Pull the sweet uh, Pete Cromstrong auto this afternoon. And one of those 75, the real 75, uh, 1975 card box toppers as well, uh, which is pretty cool. on the short print. <clears throat> that is a Eddie Rosario on the uh, white board. There's a uh, Joey Weimer. There's Coco Montes. I did not pull an Ellie, though, this afternoon. So that's interesting. And there's our hit right there. That's going to be a Dansby going out to Cubbies on the Clubhouse Collection. Does have a uh, slightly dinged corner down there. On the bottom right, I do believe. So both of the uh, it's so far for the Cubbies. <coughs> no worries, uh, Joshua. You're good. There's a sweet Gunner short print. Backs of these are not, they're all kind of different too, which is a little weird, a little weird. Some of them are darker, some of them are lighter. All right, nice Hudson Kerstad to the Cardinals. And we got George Kirby on the Chrome Refractor that's going out to the Mariners. <laughs> uh, well, until you get a cut sing from the celebrity, uh, Drew, that is, uh, see, like, look at that back of that. Kirby card, and then look at the back of that Heim, and they're, or even let's check the back of another one here, or like look at the Lindor, how it's completely different from the backs. Kind of odd. Anyway, this uh, George Kirby is 133 to 375 on the Chrome Refractor. There's some pretty good names on that. It might play an Elvis cut cut sig, and then you'd be like, "Yeah, that's what I did. That's that's why I did. That's why I did it." 
Or is it very likely I'm going to play an Elvis cutscene? No, but that's, you know, hey, that's the that's the chance, right? There's a Mickey Maniac on the uh, short print. Javis. Yeah, there's a Yasmani Grandal short print followed by a Justin Steele of the Cubs. That's a super one. Yeah, the backs of the cards were back in the day exactly the same. Just not, not, not consistent at all uh, as far as the back goes. Well, there you go. You also get a roller coaster Space Mountain op opens at Disney World. I mean, you get that one too, Andrew. Along with the get to the Java. <laughs> it's, it's bad. It's bad. There's a white border. Mike Moustakis. So I don't know the odds on this. I mean, the white borders show up. We've got a lot of white borders um, this afternoon. There's a nice J-Dom. So it, may, it leads me to believe that like there's going to be a lot of, of the other short prints in here, but I don't think that there's going to be. I think I would I did get an image uh, Julio and then a color swap Manny Machado. We kind of found that color swap Manny Machado by accident, so I can't take much credit in finding that one. It's it's just I keep talking about, it, but it's stressful not being able to know which. I mean, I don't understand. And again, I'll say, what is the big deal with just putting them backwards? I mean, why is it being so secretive? Pretty frustrating. Is it signed by Maggie? Unfortunately, no. Joshua, yeah, yeah, sorry, I didn't put the thing up there. Thank you for asking, dude. I appreciate that. Yes, both skunks have been redeemed. Let me put the... I'll put the thing up there. Uh, so, yeah, next break, if you want to redeem one, Joshua, you'll be good. All right, our box topper is going to be a Gaylord Perry. It's going out to the... Uh, Guardians. I do believe. Yep. The gods. <coughs> nice. Okay, Lord, Mr. Perry. You can redeem one for points if you'd rather have tokens. Uh, Joshua, you can do that. Yes. That is a thing. Absolutely can. If you want to redeem a skunk, and you take 2,000 tokens instead of uh, your 500 tokens and a Bears Bowl pick. That can absolutely be done. Because Bears Bowl picks are 1,500 tokens, right? So that's, that's what they're worth, in my eyes. And, and, you know, it's just a rule, man. I, I, hate to do, I hate doing it if that happens, but that is a, uh, that is a thing. Got to have a team in the break. 
surprised you didn't swear me off altogether. Right? Like, screw this guy. I'm so I'm so rude. <laughs> Alright, there you go, Joshua. Added your two G's. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good way to use them. if I can tell from the front. All right, there's a Jason Delay, white border. It's going out the Pirates. Now, the error ones, I have no idea. I mean, I wonder if there's a... Is there a... Uh, I wonder if there's a... Uh, there's my assassin. Oh. There's the... Uh, Craig Kimbrell short print. I wonder if there is the, uh, like a, a variation gallery, like there is with some. And there's our hit for the box. That's going to be an Eloy to the White Sox. Yeah, no, I was, uh, I, I would hope not, right? <laughs> Andrew, like, uh, but I would definitely, you can, you can definitely give me some shit about it, though, man, for sure, 100%. Be like, how dare you, James? It's super rude. All right, that's Andy. Cow is up. Okay, see so that now. That all right. So at least we found the black and white. See, it's in no like, it's in no specific order. But that is a black and white Johan Aviedo. Right there. So as you can see, it does say B and W. They got it really small this year. I like what they did last year. Wasn't it last year where it was like right up here it would say black and white or whatever, something like that, or image or whatever, but that's a black and white. You can barely see it in there above the 104 in that same box. It says B&W. That's a black and white variation. All right, there's Brad Rocchio. Mr. Dick Williams. And then I always think this Cal Rally is the uh, missing the simile signature. But it's not. It's just very not noticeable. Right. Adley, and then we have a short print Luis Garcia to the next. Oh, no. There's a, uh, must be an intruder upstairs. The little one's going nuts. A little dog. All right, there's a Jimenez white border. Going out to the Guardians. Maybe we'll get an auto out of that last box. That'd be pretty sweet. We, we should be able to get at least one auto per damn uh, image color short print per, per break, you would think, right? Apparently, you're getting... Uh, Chopper cards and a bunch of theme park stuff. Bush Gardens opens theme park. I right know that's an interesting looking ride right there, isn't it? These flashbacks cards are kind of cool though. Got a Randy Rose Arena on the short print. Nice Mason win there. And those two dudes. Wow, 
Frosty. Hey, we got Brian Woo. That is a uh, refractor chrome of Brian Woo. And his number. Uh, 575 of 575. That's the bookend numbering on that one there. So congrats on that one, uh, Mariners. Got the Brian Wu and the George Kirby refractors. The George Kirby's only numbered to 375. I gotta check that out real quick. Like, oh, so there's silvers and refractors. How the hell do you call the difference between silvers and refractors? Must be silver. Oh, silvers must be at the bottom. The bottom is uh, silver. That must be what they're talking about. So, uh, 375 is a silver and not a refractor. Severino on the short break. And a Yohan Duran go out the twins on the short print and follow by a bow. Shit. Oh, Nick. Wait, where's Dustin at? Dustin. You, uh, what you think about that series? Uh, was that not our only series, right? Dustin, season series between the Cubbies and the Dodgers. Who won that series, Dustin? I, I'm not, I, I forgot to look. All right, our uh, box top does have a little bit of what looks like a curve to it right there, but <clears throat> nice Nolan Ryan. It's going out the Angels. I got bets with two people on the Dodgers Cub series. I wrote them all down. I gotta get a hold of David and you, Dustin. I'm old. Did you realize I had a bet with two people? Chris with the Red Sox, right? The Red Sox season series of the Cubbies. Cubs and Red Sox always play each other pretty good. <laughs> Nick says the Mariners look like hot garbage right now. It depends on which game you watch the Cubbies, whether they look amazingly good or like hot garbage. Today, a bunch of garbage. Garbage. 
All right, we got a Bryce Miller to the Mariners on the uh, white border. Flashbacks. Construction on the Trans-Alaska Pipelines begins. It's a big deal. Big deal. All right, and we did get another relic. That is a Brian Reynolds. Going out to the uh, Pirates on the Clubhouse Collection. So all four of them will be relics. It's always kind of like that in this set. Tough Autos are tough. I think I seen something somewhere that they're going to be extra tough this year, which is good and bad, right? I don't feel like it's too much short printing autos to give one per box. I mean, there is a lot of boxes, but... Still have yet to pull an Ellie, though. Unless I went past a few. Because I'm so concentrated on trying to damn figure out short prints that I'm not it's like when you're over concentrated on trying to find short prints and stuff like that, you like lose sight of the obvious stuff. Something wrong with his arm now, too. Yeah, I seen that yesterday. A lot of pictures dropping. A lot of pictures. All right, we got a uh, Jordan Hicks on the Shorty. Sony launches Betamax in Japan. So you're you're stocked up on those, Andrew. Stocked up on those flashbacks. All right, so we're gonna do a roll for this card as well. Give me a second to do that. And there is a silver Kristen Encarnacion Strand rookie going out of the Reds. That one is numbered 120 to 375. And we got a Gary Sanchez on the short print. And a card. All right, let's do a roll for this uh, quad card here. We're going to give one here, two here, three here, and four here. Whatever I roll, uh, that's where the card will go. If I roll five or six, we'll just re roll. And just like that, that was a six, so it's a reroll. Uh, yeah, that's a six, so it's another reroll. Apparently, we're going to be here all night rolling because there's a five. That time we got there, three. So that's going to go to Spencer Strider and the Braves, and any other ones I might pull are going to go to that bottom left quadrant. Short print. Is this is a sweeter weaver. Weaver. 
So is I gotta read up on the alley. It's very amazing that we have not pulled an alley in. Or maybe I just went past an alley. I don't think we definitely didn't go past an alley in this one. Nice J down. That I recalled, anyways. There's a Kodai Senga to the Mets on the short print. And that'll do it for the break. So now's the time, people. If you got a team in this break, go ahead and get your guesses in the chat for the Bears Bowl. It is a number between 1 and 100. I need you to guess and put in the chat. I will then random a number between 1 and 100. You are trying to be the closest under or over to my number. If you have one of those two guesses, you'll get a pick from the bowl. If you guess the number out of the money, you're going to get them both because you're a badass. One guess per person is all you get, though. Even if you got multiple teams, you still only get one guess. And you must at least have a team in this break to make a guess. So if all that is true, get your guesses in the chat now, and I will random the number after the recap. Here's a recap. So let's start with our white border variations. Uh, we got Alec Mano to the Blue Jays, or Bryce Miller to the Mariners, Andres Jimenez to the Guardians, and Jason Delay to the Pirates, Mike Moustakis to the Angels, Eddie Rosario to the Braves, Marcus Simeon to the Rangers, and a Brady Singer to the Royals. And then we did get a black and white uh, image, or uh, black and white variation, right, of Johan Aviado going out to the Pirates. And then some chrome uh, parallels. We did get the, uh, I don't know, the base chrome parallel, right? Um, that is 93 of 999 going out to the Mets. It's a Lindor. And we got two silvers, a uh, Christian Encarnacion strand of the Reds, 120 of 375, and a George Kirby to the Mariners. It's 133 of 375, followed by a refractor of Brian Wu going out to the Mariners. It's 575 of 575. It's a nice bookend numbering there on that one. And all five of our hits were... Relics. So we got one uh, jersey relic that's a Dansby Swanson going out the Cubbies. And then three bat relics a Brian Reynolds of the Pirates, Nico Horner of the Cubbies, and an Eloy Jimenez of the White Sox. And then our box toppers are going to be a Nolan Ryan of the Angels, Gaylord Parody of the Guardians, Don Sutton of the Dodgers, and a Lou Brock going out the Cardinals. All right, so we'll some dice. Let's see how many times we're in. We get a Bears Bowl number. And that is going to be seven times. So without further ado, welcome to the stage. The start of the show is the main event. It is the Bears Bowl. All right, follow me on over to random.org here. I will random this number. I'm going to do that. Was it seven times? Seven times. Good luck. Once. Twice. Three times. Four. Five. Six. And seven. 72 is our number. 72. 72. Well, it looks like, uh, Andrew, this time you're going to take it. I believe, right? Not going to get kicked out of this one. So, Andrew, you're going to take the under at 69. Gaity got there and Bob you're gonna take the over at 75 you're both three away so the under will take the tiebreaker and give me their number first so Andrew give me your 1 through 21 first and Bob give me a 1 through 21 after Andrew does and then the skunk redeems which was uh, Brian you redeemed it first and then Zane you redeemed it second
So Brian, you give me your one through twenty one third. And Zane, your one through twenty one. Even while I'm waiting on those guesses to get in chat, I'm going to go ahead and change the break number to 2548. It's going to be our second, third case of, uh, of Heritage here. Andrew says nine. Bob goes to 13. And then uh, Brian, you next. Brian says 17 and Zane. So we got 9, 13, and 17, whatever Zane takes for his scum to deep. Uh, Rick. <coughs> uh, that guest came in really late there. Um, so just make sure you refresh. If you have teams in any of the other breaks, make sure you uh, refresh your, your screen. And to make sure you get that guessing in time, so it's so it's there on time. That one came in about five minutes late, and it's already been decided. So Zane goes to thirteen. All right, here we go. Again, uh, Brian and Zane, just make sure you message me when you do have a team, so I can send out whatever you do get with that team. So here we go. Um, okay, yeah, nineteen. Thirteen is already taken. Thank you, Zane. So we got nine, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen coming up. All right, we got one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And going out to Andrew. Andrew, you're going to take uh, two packs, or excuse me, one pack of 20, uh, 1989 Fleer and one pack of 2024 Big League. A little combo pack there. Good luck with those. And moving on to 13 for Bob. This is going to be 10, 11, 12, and 13. Going out to Bob, you get two packs of 2024 Big League. And 14, 15, 16, and 17. And going out to Brian. Brian, you're going to get Aaron Nola, Major League Material. That's from 2024 Series 1. And this is 18 and 19. And going out to Zane, you're going to get two packs of 2024 Big League Baseball. All right, I will uh, hold those two for Brian and Zane. I'll hold those two for you. Let's say, I didn't see if you said that you had a uh, team in uh, a, in a break tonight, but uh, either way, if you again, Brian and Zane, if you do get a team or when you do get another team, uh, just message me through that um, through that uh, purchase, right? And I will make sure to get these sent to you in those boxes. So, all right, guys, I'll be back in just over ten minutes. We'll start ripping on the second third of Heritage for the night. So I'll see you then. Psychosis, if I keep motion. I got nightmares in my head, 
seen that with Mr. Sullivan and Man, I probably should have looked at him right. I might grab at that, I don't know, my wrath and blood boils over like, oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes, I said some shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Top Tier Breaks. I'm James with you, as always, and I'll be doing your riffing. Oh, peeps. All right. So we're here at our second break of Heritage here for the night. It is release day of Mr. Heritage. Let's see if we can find some needles in a haystack, some uh, variations in this one. 2548, 2024 Heritage, third case. We got the Diamondbacks, Dustin S, Braves as well, Orioles, Paul B, Red Sox, Jacob L, Cubs, Dustin S, the uh, White Sox, Grant D, uh, Reds, Dustin S, Guardians, John P, Rockies, Michael M, Tigers, Rob P, Astros, John M, Royals, Michael E, the Angels, Dustin S, Dodgers, Dustin S, Marlins, Bob S, the Brewers, Mike K, Twins, Roy J, Mets, David B, Yankees, Francis R, the A's, Jeff L, Phillies, Roger J, Pirates, Cameron M, Padres, Richard R, Giants as well, the Mariners, Nick D, uh, Cardinals, Michael E, Rays, Hashim L, the Rangers, David B, Blue Jays, Valerie F, Nats, Bob S, and the Celebrity Cut Sigs, and the non-baseball um, flashbacks go to Dustin S. All right, thank you, Dustin. I will get your... Who asked, uh, Joshua, did you ask about a skunk? Did you, uh, Somebody else asked about a skunk earlier. So if there's one more left to redeem on this one. So if you didn't redeem one, go ahead. Oh, no, Joshua, you already redeemed it. That's right. You took points for it. Dustin, I'm adding your tokens now. There you are, sir. And Nick redeems his top shelf for Bears Bowl pick, so never mind. There is uh, no more redeems this break either. Let me erase that up there. There we go. All right, eBay sweepstakes. No purchase or payments necessary to enter or win that sweepstakes. You just got to follow the links that I have in the description of this video, and I'll take you to the website. They'll give you all that info. All right. Oh, you just want tokens for that one again, Joshua? As, uh, <laughs> I did. Oh, man, right when I said that, Nick redeemed a skunk. If you want a Bears Bowl pick for that, I'll allow five in this one because I... Did tell you, but here's Joe Torrey on the uh, on that one. If you want a Bears Bowl pick for that one um, instead of just tokens, just let me know. I can absolutely do that for you. I'll allow five in this one if that's the case.
No, you're you're good. You're good. I will. Uh, I'll just. We can have five five bears both. We're good. Just hook me up with the uh, team break number. We're way good. No, so Dustin, it, do they have? A, I forgot. There was somebody that the Cubs only played one series with. Maybe that was the Red Sox. So, uh, no, it's a season series. It's a season series bet, right, um, Dustin? So, yeah, I think they still have one more series, right? So it's not over. the first series bet. It's a season series bet. And that's, there's somebody that the Cubs only played one series with. I'm not sure if that was the Mariners or the Red Sox. I thought that they played the Dodgers multiple times. But I am up 2-1 on you. be continued, right? You gotta pull off the sweep, though. Yeah, it's with the M's. That's right, Nick. That's right. That's right. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Tukey Toussaint? I don't, even, <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Anyways, there's the... Uh, was that the Altar 8800 launch? The first commercially successful personal computer. Look at that. It's actually a pretty cool card. And there, it does exist. The Ellie. That's the first Ellie I've pulled out of this case. Out of uh, ripped six or eight boxes so far. No Ellie's. All right, so we're going to do our random with this one as well. Um, then also, uh, it'll work for all the rest of the cards. We'll do that here at the end of this break. Or the end of this pack. Or box, rather. I'm sorry. There's a Felix Bautista short print. Short prints anywhere from numbered from 1 to 100 in the set. Nice J Law there. There we got Charlie Blackman going out to the uh, Rockies. <coughs> On our Clubhouse Collection Relic, there's a Bat Relic of Mr. Charlie Blackman. We have a Isak Paredes going out to the Rays and a Kyle Bradish to the Orioles. All right, so let's do our roll here. This will work for all cards that have two players on it from different teams, side-by-sides or up and downs. So essentially there's a couple of ones that have top and bottom. So it'll be the same uh, left and right, one, two, three here, four, five, and six here. On the ones that are top and bottom, we'll just act like that. So um, anyways, here we go. Whatever I roll, that's where these will go for the rest of the break. That is a four. So any multi-cards or cards with two players on it is going to go to the right side of the card or the bottom of the card if it's top and bottom. And we'll stage that one as well. As that is a white border parallel or variation. Like that top and bottom, so that'll go Andrew, Andrew McCutcheon right there. All right, Lane Thomas on the short print. Nice PCA to the Cubbies. Although, not sure what that is up in the upper left there. That is odd for sure. That's the scribble in the top left corner variation. Very rare. Very sought after. Alright, uh, Kyle Higashi. Hey, 
Hashioka. And there's the valuable players. There's Cursed Ed. You know, it'd be it'd probably be best to say because the, the the short print and stuff, uh, all that, you know, isn't that big of a checklist. So I should just get to learn all the players, and then we just check the back of those players' cards. That would probably be the the easiest way around finding most of those. There's a nice Giancarlo Stanton on the short print. Series insert. There is a uh, highlights uh, short print. <coughs> super. <coughs> like the bat just looks super off centered. I don't think it's supposed to be like that or, or whatever, but it's very interesting to say at least. Nick, well, I'll be rooting on the Cubbies to kick the crap out of your, uh... <laughs> so the Soviet unmanned space mission, Venera 9, lands on Venus. Sure it did. Sure it did. Whatever you guys say. <laughs> I don't think anything's ever landed anywhere, but that's just me. Alright, and that's a uh, Mackenzie Gore going out the Nats. So the, the the Julio short print looks pretty close to that. We pulled the Julio image variation earlier, and it looks pretty close to that. They make this set so tough to, to see that. I mean, that's the one thing that makes me mad about it. Other than that, I do like the... Uh, big fan of the 75s, though. We got a Shintaro Fujinami short print. And there's the Nolan Jones. Sounds like someone should see a tattoo. Yeah, maybe. Alright, and nice. That is a Ken Berry. So that is the 50th anniversary uh, box toppers that are actual 1975 cards. It's the second one we pull out of this case. And they are uh, the actual 1975s, right? That's a Ken Berry going out to Brewers. And it's a 50th anniversary uh, stamp on them. So those are pretty cool. George Brett, right? This is the big one uh, that you want to have in that one. I assume they put a George Brett in here. Be kind of bogus that the George Brett was just laying there, though. <laughs> I wonder 
if they did put those in there, I assume that they probably did. And if they did, did they protect them a little bit more? I mean, yeah. time with that Cal Rally. Kleist, Chrysler launches the first automobile rebate that revolutionized the auto buying market forever. Those flashback cards are actually pretty cool. Here's a white border Spencer Strider. Put off the Bravos. Stuart Fairchild, the Reds on the shorty. Okay, so this one, uh, we found one, right? That is the uh, nickname parallel, or nickname short print, El Abusador. And it does have a little bit of a dingy bottom right corner there. I'll show you that. But that's a, a Cooney Jr. got off the Braves. On the uh, nickname variation. Pretty sweet one there. And that's a Austin Hayes SP. Yeah, I'm sure they did too, Bob. For sure. There's a Eckers in the flashback. And that's a Chris Stratton on the short print. Alright, so that one's gonna go to bottom. Have we done that in this one yet? No, we just did the uh, we just did the uh, regular card. So I got to roll for this one. This is the only quad card that there is, I think, in the whole set. Uh, that's the only one I've pulled so far. But anyway, we're going to have one here, two here, three here, and four here. Whenever I roll, that's where it'll go. And that's where it'll go the rest of the break. If I roll a five or a six, we'll have to re-roll. That was a six. There's a deuce. So that's going to go to the top right and Chris Bassett. And any other ones that we pull will also go to that top right position. Yeah, we got a Bailey Falter on the short print. Yep, there's the regular. But again, make sure you're checking the backs of all your cards when you do get them. Uh, just in case I miss, which I'm sure I'm going to miss. You know, some here and there of the variations or image uh, variations or color swap variations and all the different variations that are in this set. Because they are very, very tough without looking at the backs of every single card to see. Alright, we got a Hassan Kim for the Padres on the Chrome. That's the Refractor. That is numbered 151 of 575. Padres. And a white border you say Kikuchi going out to the uh, Blue Jays. There's a Kyle Finnegan on the short print. Alright, 
brain injury short print. And we got a Brandon Rogers on the short print go out the Rockies and a Robert Garcia to the Mets. That'll do the second box. Stopper, give me a sweet Carlton Fisk. The Red Sox, the Red Sox girl. Go out to Jacob and the Red Sox. They are. You know what I probably did? I probably went past an auto. Uh, okay, let's go back. <laughs> all right. Going back through. May have missed an auto here. We'll go back through all the cards. I'm just going to have to because I might have missed an auto in there. It's very easy to miss these autos with the... Uh, Assemblies on them. Yes, we're supposed to. And so I very well could have missed the auto. We'll go back through them all. But it's not, uh, you know, it's not absolutely beyond tops to miss a hit, though, either. The ones sitting up there are from the new case, so we'll just leave them sit there. Yep, there it is. Spencer Steer. So easy to miss stuff in this. I, I need to pay more attention. Thank you guys for bringing that to my attention. There is the Spencer Steer auto. Oh, my. That's, uh, that ain't good that I missed an auto sitting in there. But, I mean, to my defense, right, they all got the autos on them. Uh... So there is the Spencer Steer. That's a nice one, too, the Reds. There you go, Dustin. And uh, thank you guys for bringing that to my attention, obviously. Man. All right. Crisis avoided. Crisis avoided. came to you either way. Right? You, you, you got it. Either way, right? It would have come out in sorting. It might not have been top loaded. <laughs> it might have just been in with the base cards. So you'd have to, you'd have to do some searching. Well, the only thing different is that, yeah, the, the, the blue auto and then it also says, you know, autograph at the bottom. But I'm so caught up right now in trying to see if I can... So, ripping it, the, the reason I have a certain feelings about sets like this is I just don't understand the secrecy of not making the image variations known, right? So I sit here and concentrate so hard to be able to see something different about them that I get myself into a little trance and then forget. I was saying this earlier, and then, and then miss something obvious like an auto, right? So at, at this point, I'm just going to, if we see a short print or, or, or not short print, like an image variation or anything like that, excellent right um 
if we, you know, if, if uh, that's why I say you guys make sure to check the backs of your cards when you get them. Because um, I'm sure I might miss something. Just put them backwards, Tops. Like, just put them backwards. That is a uh, nice chrome Evan Carter right there. 345 and 999. Pretty solid one there to the Rangers. And the Elias Diaz on the white border. Like, white borders are, you know, pretty easy to find because they're white borders. And it does say white border in the in there as well. I would rather, you know, not you know miss one of those image variations or something along those lines than miss an auto. So I'm going to start paying attention more so <laughs> than, I, than I apparently have been. All right, well, there's our hit for this box. That is a Jose Ramirez on the Clubhouse Collection. Found it two years later. When going back, this is glad. It's, it's amazing that you found it two years later. All right, we got another Ellie. So two Ellies in this. Uh, and this one hadn't pulled an Ellie in the first eight boxes. Now we pulled two in this year. Uh, break alone. There's a Lourdes Gurriel for the Diamondbacks. And then some of the facsimile autos are so faint you can barely see them, and other ones are like that, and they're like there. And there is a variation that has the facsimile auto missing, so you gotta look out for that. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's it's, it's kind of stressful to be honest. These are drip this stuff. This is Michael Kopech. <laughs> Breaker problems, right? What can I say? They did come out and say that they're gonna be stingy with the. Uh, with the autos this year. I think they actually did. I want to say it said it on one of the sell sheets. But they're going to be er, on the checklist or something along those lines. There's Nathan Evaldi going on the Rangers on the white border. In fact... Yeah, they say among the parallels are red border cards, which are exclusive to Target Giant boxes. Flip stock returns as hobby exclusives. These are the reverse side of the sheet, and cards are printed on. As a result, the front of these feel rougher, and the backs more glossy finish. Needless to say, they're not the easiest cards to spot. Well, thank you for that. Because uh, that makes sense. To put more valuable cards, it's hard to find. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, right? Here it says, uh, autographs and memory mem cards. Over the years, Heritage has developed a strong following for its hits. That said, the product doesn't take a quantity approach to what's promised in every box. Autographs are actually fairly tough with plain jersey swatches showing up a lot more frequently. Real one autographs anchor the signatures. These combined with multi-generational checklist, the 1975 design and on-card signatures, red ink special edition parallels are numbered to 75. So yeah, they said it right there.
No, Nick. I, I, that's I, I mentioned when I was reading the when I was reading the uh, um, the list on the last one that I made a note to send those out because I was waiting until you got in a team or you got in a break, and I, I think this is the first break you've been in since then. So yes, they will go out with these breaks for you. Fall of Saigon, the Vietnam War ends. Flashbacks. Mr. Horwitz. Smart feller there. All right, there's a short print of Kershaw, 200 win. No, you're good. Yeah, there's been uh, there's a lot of weird stuff going on with the mail. I've actually had a couple packages lost that never. Well, uh, recently I've had I don't know way more than should be where they didn't get a scan the whole way through, the whole way until it got delivered. Didn't get a scan from my post office. Didn't get a scan from the sorting facility after my post office. Didn't get a scan all the way to Texas. And all of a sudden got a scan at the final post office and then a scan for delivery. So it's like, yeah, postal service, what are you doing, dude? And they're taking forever. Like, taking forever. Like, I will drop packages off at my post office and they won't scan them for two days and most of the times they don't even scan them. My post office doesn't. It'll get scanned at the following uh, facility and sometimes they don't scan them so it won't get scanned until it makes it to, like, in the area. And then, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, the post office is not on my good side right now. And it takes them forever to send it. So it looks like I'm not sending stuff out in you know, a timely fashion, which a little behind, but not anymore. But now it still seems. Anyways, it's frustrating. All right, there's a uh, Wayne Twitchell going out to the Phillies on the uh, 50th anniversary box topper. This is a real buyback. Real seven packs. Well, and then I talked to my post office about it because I've gotten feedback. Uh, you know, I had a rash of a couple of negative feedbacks and a couple, of, uh, well, a couple of neutral ones, but half of those not really warranted. There's a backstory behind them, and I'm about to reply to them on the. Uh, on that, but either way, um, you know, right? A, a couple times I'll drop off my package, and, and then, then my post office doesn't scan it. It goes to my local, you know, hub, or whatever, before it gets shipped out of state or whatever. And a, a whole bunch of them that I dropped off didn't get scanned for five days, and finally, I dropped them off on a Monday, and then on a Saturday morning is when they finally got a scan from. A place that's 15 minutes from here. Yeah, my, my, my uh, Roy, my post office said, yeah, we're not scanning them. Um, especially, the, I think he said, especially the amount you guys drop off. I'm like, well, it's not your job. Like, that's, yeah, our post office is super lame. I mean, like, the, you don't want to talk to Mrs. Top Tier. That was her chiming in over there. She's the one that drops them off most of the time. And uh, she does not like our post office. At all. Like, at all. They're, they're rude. Right? Isn't that weird that they're rude to somebody who spends, I don't know, I think this year, last year I spent 80 k on shipping labels alone. This year it'll be over 100000 They can suck. You think that they'd be like, thank you for using business and because we are a dying breed here and trying to fight for, you know, whatever.
crazy, Marcus. Yeah, crazy, crazy, right? But anyway, so they, I talked to them about it. I'm like, hey, you know, uh, you guys have lost a couple that never got a scan, a couple of pricey back. I had to refund a guy. Well, yeah. Anyways, don't really want to talk about that because, uh, you know, because I'll take the blame. Uh, it's not even my fault that they don't show up or don't get scanned or get lost by the day in the USPS. But I'll definitely, you know, I will own it and I will refund or whatever, you know, take take the blame. But uh, they even said that we're not going to scan them here. And now that the next facility is doing it, they said they're not even scanning them there. They're sorting them outside into trucks and then sending them off the airport. And they might get scanned in the next place. They might not. Hmm. Taylor, what? Yeah, they do need to show their phone. Yeah. All right, I don't know what made me look at the back of this one, but that is a. So that's an image variation. Does not look like any kind of image variation. Don't know what prompted me to uh, to check the back of that one, but something looked funny about it. So, there you go. That is an image variation of Quinn Priester of the Pirates. I guess short point Patrick Sandoval. Uh, yeah, that could very well be. So anyway, it's just it's frustrating when you have no... You know, I have no control of it after it leaves my hands. And there's a Cedric Mullins going out the all Orioles and Paul. I didn't miss that. Didn't miss that auto. There we go. A little Cedric Mullins auto. So that's two autos for this break. We'll definitely take those. Yeah, it's 100%. Yeah, I, well, I appreciate that, Marcus. I wish everybody thought that, but then no, people just go and, and nice, Freddy Freeman people go, you know, just people that I'd like to just kind of just like that and leave feedback just because they, they feel outed themselves or so whatever. You guys can suck it. All right, there's a um, uh, first. Ever summer blockbuster movie Jaws is released. That's actually a pretty cool card right there. That's that's a pretty sweet card. Oh well, it's, the, it's part of being a seller on eBay, I guess. Yeah, I, that's it. I, I I've actually um, over the last. <clears throat> over the last two months, I think I've eaten over a thousand dollars in uh, in lost packages. Because of course, the ones they lose have you know have you know are a bunch of uh, valuable ones. Of course, you know it's it's stupid. And and there's no effing way that they could find it because it's never been damn scanned. So how are they gonna know where the hell the package is? They don't. That is the answer to that. They do not. Now, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I send out about 600 packages a week, right? And so, you know, they might lose one every couple months. A lot of them get mishandled, if you will, like not scanned and running late and stuff like that, but they generally finally make it. But it's not like I didn't have to answer a bunch of messages as to where the package is at or, or what's going on with this, and that's a pain in the butt, right? But I do it. It's part of the job. But yeah, eating those, and good luck getting reimbursed from the post office. Like, and like you said, the off the 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 extra um, insurance that they that they offer, you know, they try to fight you on that too if you try to claim it for a lost package if they never scanned it as delivered, right? So they're not going to give it to you like, oh well, that was showed it was never dropped off and never scanned in. Well, I drop off about a hundred packages a day, right? So or you know uh, about a hundred packages. Sometimes a day or at least 70 a day, right? 70 to 140 packages a day, right? So, like, we, you know, and they have a, 
they have us bring them around to the back of the post office and put them in their loading docks, you know, and hand them off to the, in their loading docks. And so they don't get scanned upon receipt. Um, but anyways, uh, so there's never any, you know, record of them. And what am I going to do? Go scan each one in each time, which maybe I'll have to start doing. I don't know. Pain in the butt. All right. Complaint time is over. <laughs> there's a card jokes. Short print. All right, and that one's going to go to Chris Bassett. The uh, top right is that's what the rule said. It did. Anyways, kind of went on a rant there. My bad. <laughs> Don't get me started on the post office. There's a Nolan Arenado short print in our final cards of Corbin Carroll. Going out to the Diamondbacks. <clears throat> so now's the time, ladies and gents. If you have a team in this break, go ahead and get your guesses in the chat for the Bears Bowl. It is a number between 1 and 100. I need you to guess and put in the chat. I will then random a number between 1 and 100. You are trying to be the closest under or over to my number. If you're on those two guesses, you'll get a pick from the bowl. If you guess the number right on the money, you're going to get them both because you are a badass. One guess per person is all you get, though. Even if you got multiple teams, you still only get one guess, and you must at least have a team in this break to make a guess. So if all that is true, get your guesses in the chat now, and I will random the number after the recap. Yeah, I should probably start doing that too, Roy. That probably wouldn't be a horrible thing to do. Certifying anything over that amount. Alright, here's our box toppers. We got a Carlton Fist to the Red Sox and Joe Torrey to the Mets. And then also we got two of the 75 uh, buyback 50th anniversary stamped ones. We got a Wayne Twitchell going out to the Phillies and a Ken Berry to the Mets or to the Brewers. And then we got our white border variations. We got Starling Marte to the Mets, Taylor Ward to the Angels, Nathan Evaldi to the Rangers, Elias Diaz to the Rockies, Yusei Kikuchi to the Blue Jays, Spencer Strider to the Braves, you Darvish to the Padres, and a 2012 most valuable players that's going to go to the right side and Buster Posey in the Giants. All right, we did get in Evan Carter Chrome parallel 345 of 999 and a Hassan Kim to the Padres on the refractor Chrome 151 of 575. And then uh, we got a Quinn Priester image variation going out to the Padres. You can tell it does say image right there, and then a uh. Acuna Jr. to the Braves on the nickname variation. Then uh, two Bat Relics, a Charlie Blackman to the Rockies, and a Jose Ramirez to the Guardians. And two Autos, a Cedric Mullins to the Orioles, and a Spencer Steer to the Reds. All right, roll some dice. Let's see how many times we get a random get a Bears Bowl number. That is going to be nine times. Nine times. Nine times. 
Without further ado, welcome to the stage. The star of the show is the main event of this bread bowl. Alright, um, follow me on over to the random.org. I'm gonna random this number, gonna do that nine times. Nine. Once, twice, three times, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <coughs> 28 is our number. 28. 28. Looks like Paul, you're going to take the under 27. So you're going to be the closest as well. So give me a 1 through 21, Paul. And then our over is going to go to Nick at 44. Indeed, Nick at 44. I'm going to break it again. Maybe. 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 It needs to shut up and deal with it. What the Bears Bowl needs to do. Deal with your deal with his job. He's sturdy. Alright, so Nick, you're gonna take the over at 44. Give me a number uh, 1 through 21 after uh, Paul or Butterbean Dog there in the chat. And then uh, Dustin redeemed a skunked. So Dustin, give me a 1 through 21 after that. And then um, Nick, you redeemed your top shelf for Bears Bowl. You give me one of that. And Joshua redeemed the skunk as well. So, Joshua, you give me one. You're one fifth. And, Joshua, I will go ahead and I forgot to add your 500 top tier tokens for that to redeem. So, I got to scroll. I got to scroll and find the redeem here real quick, or at least find your name. So, I can copy and paste. There it is. Tokens added for you, Joshua. So the order should go Paul, Nick, Paul, Nick, Dustin, Nick, <laughs> Paul, Nick, Dustin, Nick, Joshua. Joshua Jones, not Joshua Zimmerman. But what's up, other Joshua, for, for sure? Jimmy Dubs, what up, dude? Long time. All right, um, Paul, are you still with us, man? Um, I'm not sure Paul Paul might be on a slight delay. Oh, you guys are good. You guys go ahead and give me your numbers. I'm not sure if Paul's on a slight delay or not. We do gotta get going here. So I'll just uh assign Paul a number if he doesn't pop in here. Like we would add his two plus seven and make it nine. Because his guess is twenty seven usually if uh Yeah, so you guys go ahead and Oh there he is. Alright, there he is. Thank you, Paul. Paul goes with eleven. Not much, dude. Long time no see. Jimmy Dubs in the house. Jimmy Dubs is old school. Uh, like, you were in the... Jimmy, were you... I don't know if it was... You weren't part of like the single digit breaks. I mean, you were one of my earliest customers, for sure. <laughs> You've been here since the beginning. It's good to see you, man. All right, now Joshua, go with, your, uh, with yours, for sure. Definitely an OG, Jim. De definitely OG, for sure. All right, and then Joshua, you go ahead and throw yours in there, my friend. And then we'll uh, see what all you guys have got. I see your name on the list for the night. Did you get the Braves in the, what is it, this one? Right, this next one? Indeed, yeah. All right, Joshua goes to 17. I see your name, I'm like, Jimmy Dubs! That's good. All right, here we go. Four, seven, eleven, fourteen, seventeen. That's <laughs> full. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. And going out to uh, 
Nick, you're going to get two packs of 2022 Topps Chrome Sonic. Five, six, seven. And going out to Nick, you are also going to get this Brett Phillips uh, Memorial Day Camo Parallel from 2024 Tops. No, that's from 2023 Tops uh, Update. That is going to be numbered 15 to 25. Those are actually pretty tough pulls. All right, then moving on. This is 8, 9, 10, and 11. And going out to Paul. Nice uh, Curtis Mead. Baseball Stars Rookie Auto from 2024 Series 1. Pretty solid pull there from the old bull. And 12, 13, and 14. Go out to Dustin. Dustin uh, right back with some free shipping. You know all about that one. And moving on, this is 15, 16, and 17. And going out to Joshua. Joshua, you're going to get a 1,000 top tier tokens. Oh, no. Could have taken the two grand. It's <laughs> the chance you take it. Maybe I should up that 1,000 top tier tokens out of the bowl to at least... Well, maybe I should up it to two Gs for that one. Might want to up that to two. Well, I don't know. We'll see. All right. So I'm going to make a rule that if you pull that with your skunk card... So there's also a rule that if you redeem a Bears bowl pick... If you redeem a Bears bowl pick with tokens for 1500 tokens and you pull the thousand tokens i'm gonna give you 2000 so at least you, you, you gain tokens at that point so same thing holds true for that but i'll 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 make it whole like you took tokens for it again joshua so i'll give you 1500 more so i'll go ahead and do that right now oh there you are right there so i'll just give you 1500 more so that's 37 and uh, we'll go 42 All right, there you go, man. Saving up for his leave the child shirt. As soon as I do get uh, more merch, I'll definitely put merch in there that you can buy with top tier tokens for sure. All right. Up to one million. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, next up, we do got... Uh, next up, we got... Um, what the hell do we got up next? Uh, Triple E. <laughs> it's been... Release nights are always running behind, so I just kind of understood that as the time has gone on so all right i'll be back in just over 10 minutes we'll start ripping on some triple e so i'll see you guys then
could be getting after this. I got facts over facts over tracks, getting that shit and so getting back. Talk the ropes, talk the gas, think I'm okay at last, but I don't know what that can erase all the past and the pettiness of reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious, mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior. Inferior, you know I'll always be a big superior. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains that last. And to believe in what you got, it was built to last. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Tap to Your Breaks. I'm James with you, as always, and I'll be doing your ripping. I'll be in a little bit late. I do apologize to everybody been waiting here, um, but we are we're here. <laughs> All right, third break of the evening. 2023 Triple E. It's like this every release day on a product like Heritage and stuff like that. It just takes a minute to get used to ripping it, but we'll do better tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> I think we will. Anyways, we got 2549, 2023 Triple E quarter case. We got Dimebacks, Thomas M, Braves, Jimmy W. Uh, the Orioles, William W. Red Sox, Sean B. Cubs, John S. White Sox, William W. The Reds, Gene L. Guardians, Steph, uh, Stephen B. The uh, Rockies, David H. Tigers, Rob P. Astros, Roy G. Royals, Dylan B. Angels, Sandy M. Dodgers, Keith E. Marlins, Joshua J. Brewers, Matthew O. The Twins, Roy G. Mets, Sonny D. Yankees, Brad M. A's, Sonny D. Phillies, Albert P. Uh, Pirates, Joshua J, Padres, William W, Giants, Steve C, Mariners, Andrew S, Cardinals, Mike K, Rays, Sonny D, the Rangers, Corey K, Blue Jays, Roy G, Nats, Liam G, the DPL spot going to William W, and the international spot goes to Jeremy P. eBay sweepstakes, no purchase or payments necessary to enter that sweepstakes. She's going to follow the links that I have in the description of this video. I'll tell you the website that will give you all of that info. Actually, real quick before I open it, I do got to go grab some 79s. I will be right back. Pete to the Mariners, uh, 117 and 275. And we got Tucker Tolman going out to the Blue Jays on the impact impressions. 
followed by a Braylon Fuentes going out the DPL on the DPL signatures. He's a little, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, that's a new one, right? Uh, is that signed in Crayon? I'm not sure. He does have the dot, though, but he gave a little, a little uh, for those that know about what we say about DPL signatures, it's Michael Carrico. He tried to add a little flair, but it still looks like a five-year-old wrote it. Kudos to him for trying. All right, we got a uh, Paul Skeens going out to the Pirates. And a Tommy Troy to the Dimebacks on the prime number C. Nice prime number C, numbered one of nine. On, the, on your 12th overall pick from last year's draft. Nice to stage up anything numbered uh, less than 10 for sure. We got Jason Savicool going out the Cardinals. On the base sticker on it. And Hyra Wyatt to the Royals, followed by a Brock Wogan going out the Brewers. On the future threat, fetch. <laughs> we got Ralph in Alaska as the Guardians. There's Dylan Cruz on the status going out to the Nats, 161 to 499. And a Connor or yes, Connor O'Halloran on the sticker auto going out to the uh, Blue Jays. And a Hunter Haas to the Rays, followed by a Paul Skeens. That's going out the Pirates. On the first round materials, nice scheme there. Going out to Jashel. Jono, what up, dude? All right, we got Kyle Teal of the Red Sox, followed by a Teddy McGraw to the Mariners. That is 80 of 349. And an Isaiah Drake going out to the Braves. That is a uh, Aspirations die cut auto of the Isaiah Drake. Numbered 8 of 87. Then we got a Hidden Gems Auto, Colby Thomas, going out the A's. And a Burfrey Lugo to the DPL. All right, Sean Sullivan on the higher learning going to the Rockies. And a Bryce Eldridge, that is an orange base 2 to the Giants. Numbered 26 of 275. And nice Yofani Rodriguez to the international spot on the base sticker auto. It's going out to uh, Jeremy. And a Gabriel Rincon is going to the Phillies. On the Hidden Gems auto. Looks like he came off the sticker there a little bit. Boo. And a Jake Bloss to the Strobes to round out the first box. Field Jr. Um, a little, I'm not sure what that is down there. Almost looks like pen, but that is a blue spellbound going out to the uh, Orioles, 81 of 199. And a Daryl Duran to the DPL, that's 328 of 349. We got a South Stewart Impact Impressions going to the Reds. And a uh, Kendall George to the Dodgers, followed by a uh, Israel Estevez, and that's going out to the DPL on the DPL patch. All right, there's a Matt Shaw on the primary colors, followed by a Dylan Head to the Padres. That is 414 and 499. And we have a Jake Cunningham uh, going out to the Orioles on the base sticker auto. There is a Burfley Lugo to the DPL and a Nolan Shaniel going out the Angels on the Orange Future Stats patch. That is numbered 16 of 199. All right, we've got Enrique Bradfield Jr. in the higher learning going to the Orioles and Ethan Pecco to the Astros uh, 184-349 there is a Eric Batanti to the Brewers on the uh, die 
Cut Auto. I mean, number to 399. 54, 399 to be exact. 250 pointer. I mean, we'll take those. Uh, it's worth a good 15 to 20 bucks, right? Cole showing where to the Reds. All right. I'll random those points off at the end of the break here. We got Jacob Wilson to the A's on Spellbound, followed by Hector Perez, the DPL, 118 to 499. And a Alex Clemmy to the Guardians on the Aspirations die cut auto. That one's numbered 16 of 70. And we got Chase Hampton. That's going out to the Yankees on the Hidden Gems Auto. And a Christian Campbell to the Red Sox. Yeah, it hasn't been very chatty most of the night. I think it was kind of a... I think it has to do with maybe... Uh, you know, Heritage is one that, I don't know, maybe kind of lulls a little bit, right? We got Edison Charles to the DPL that is 194, 349. We'll blame it on Heritage for the lull. Chat. There's uh, Sammy Stafura to the Reds on the. Oops. I got auto that is numbered 303 at 399. And a base Dylan Cruz to the Nats, followed by a Hidden Gems Joel Lamp to the Guardians. Third box. Uh, anybody in here looking for the Leaf Vivid break? That is going to be happening next. We're just running a bit late. I know the schedule will start right now. Just going to be running probably about at by the time we start that break, probably thirty minutes late. All right, we have Luke Keyshaw on the Higher Learning, followed by let's go with the Twins. Uh, we got David, Travis Huntyman to the Cardinals, three twenty-five with three forty-nine. And a Thomas Harrington impact impressions going off the Pirates. And a Yasel Garcia going off the DPL. That is a Aspirations die cut and is number 29 of 76. <laughs> I'm not sure. Goes so what I mean. What, I mean, you got the Y period, and then the G. Not exactly sure what that is afterwards, though. <laughs> that one's uh, that one's a head scratcher, for sure. There's Alonzo Treadwell, but signed in Crane, so that's good. <laughs> they try. <clears throat> All right. Jacob Gonzalez to the White Sox on the spellbound. We got a Kendall George to the Dodgers. That is 311, 499. I still don't know. I mean, it might be Jorge. I, I, I guess I should maybe look for something or somewhere to pronounce his name. Every time I say Kendall George, it's like, I don't know if it's George, but he is from Texas, right? So he's not foreign. And by that, I mean he's not from, you know, Hispanic. But if I remember correctly from his uh, first Bowman guard. I feel like it's Kendall George and not Jorge, but it might be Jorge. Who knows? We got a Dylan Custad going out the Twins. <clears throat> Dylan kind of has a DPL auto as a, as a non-DPL person. That's my thoughts. There's a red louder. Oh, yeah, a bunch of them, Jimmy. Yeah, a bunch of them. Uh, a bunch of good ones, too. Um, if you're going to ask me to name you a few, I'm, I'm going to fall flat on my face doing so, but one big one is like Yo Andre Vargas, uh, Manuel Bonilla, um, boy, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a good deal of them, yes, they absolutely do make it to the show, um, oh god, there's another one too, uh, that was a big one, who the hell was that from, he was in 2021, Jacob Wilson. Yeah, I don't I cannot remember for the life of me, but it's uh it's a good one. 85 349 there. There's an Eric Pena going out the DPL. And a Jake Geloff to the Dodgers, followed by a Rhett Louder on the first round materials. Going to the Reds. 
So I named those two guys as those were pretty recent guys that, that were in there. Right. Um, there's a Skeens. Going to Pirates, Max Anderson to the Tigers. It's 16 at 499. We got a Dylan Campbell going out to the Dodgers on the uh, die cut auto. That's numbered three, 280 to 399. And a Kyrus Reyes. Going to the DPL. He's got a pretty fancy auto for a DPL. That's good. That's good. That's a base one, though. And a Chase Davis to the Cardinals. <coughs> All right, Arjun Namala to the Blue Jays, followed by a Yariel Cordero to the DPL 30 of 349. And a nice Perdomo. There you go. International spot, uh, Jeremy in that Perdomo. Him and DeVries are who everybody's chasing out of that, uh, uh, that spot. That's a prime numbers auto as well. Ooh, that's a prime number C. That's a real good one as well. Nine of nine on that Perdomo. So that's a uh, beast of a Perdomo right there. And we got Gabriel Rincones on the Hidden Gems auto. That's going out to the Phillies. Followed by a base two, Enrique Bradfield Jr. to the Orioles. I thought that I thought that it was already a done deal that they were partnering with him, but maybe I read the I, I didn't read the article. I just read the headline, so you probably read the article or whatever on that. It's crazy them buying Golden, but I thought it was something like a streamlined process where where you could buy a card off of eBay or Golden and send it right to PSA, and then as soon as PSA was finished grading it, they would list it for you. To get it to market faster or something along those lines. Something like that. I don't know. There's Jack Hurley to the Diamondbacks. That is 210 to 349. Followed by a Tyler Locklear going out to the Mariners on the Impact Impressions. We got a uh, Skylar Hales to the Rangers and a Bryce Matthews going out to Houston. <coughs> <clears throat> and I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, yeah, just the process hasn't worked out yet. But that's kind of what I read about the process. Like, something along the lines of you could buy a card. Well, maybe not even buy I don't know. Uh, something like that, Joshua. Yeah, and so, also... Uh, or maybe it's the other... I don't know. There's also something about maybe that... PSA was buying the eBay vault or something like that too. I maybe that's what I read about PSA buying eBay the eBay vault thing or something like that. And then that's where what I said came to me. I need to go read the actual article. I didn't. I just read like a, a summary of it or something like that. Ah, from the seller. And then there was something else about how eBay would make the listing for you, at, or how uh, PSA would make a listing on eBay. Uh, I don't know if Golden was involved in that, or something like that. eBay would make the listing. I guess it didn't mean to top load that, but it gets top loaded during sorting anyway. So that's a prime numbers Johnny Farmello. Prime numbers A, 182, 200. Um, yeah, I just barely skimmed over that, but I thought something had to do with where PSA would make the listing for you as soon as it was done grading. That way it got listed right away or something like that. I don't know if they, they I don't even know if then they keep it and then send it off to somewhere, I, you know, because they put it right in the vault at that point and then just send it from the vault so you never, after you grade it, if you plan on selling it, you just basically, essentially from how I took it, is you would never see the card again, right? It would go straight to PSA, they would make a listing for you on eBay or something like that. Uh, yeah, it, it, something like that, Joshua. Yep, yep, something like that. There's uh, that's Jake Blosco out of Houston. 
Me, I'm not sure if I trust any of that. I just don't know. I'm not a very trusting guy. I'm not a very, like... I feel like that's just... I don't... I would feel off about having a card set enough to, like, buying it from somebody on eBay and never seeing the card. Like, right? So that's essentially what that's saying, if you ask me. So I buy a card on eBay. I, I elect to have it sent straight to PSA for grading by the seller. And then PSA grades it. Um, and then grades it. And then PSA lists it for me and puts it in the vault. And then as soon as it's bought, they send it to the buyer. Like, so I never see the card. I mean, that just sounds a bit off to me. Oh, it's not even may apply. Fees will apply. It's, it's a more, it's, it's more, you're already going to get the 12% or whatever it is from eBay. And then, you know, then, then and you pay the, the grading fees. And you're also going to pay other fees for all that. So, yep, that's what I read right there, Joshua. All right, it's uh, 36 and 199. So, yeah, on the Thomas White going out to Miami. Sorry. Yeah, I don't I don't think I like any of it. It just seems like more monopolizing of, of things. I just I don't like it. Why they just leave it alone. There's a red louder going out to the Reds, followed by a Brandon Sprout to the uh, Mets 380 at 499. We got a Joe Vitrano that's going out to the uh, Angels. Uh, Dodgers, excuse me. And a 150-pointer uh, there. Random that off in the end. The Yandel Ricardo going out to the Royals. Yeah, it's not a May. Fees will apply for sure. There's Dylan Head to the Padres. Followed by Mike Bove to the Brewers. That is uh, 198 to 349. And there we have a Alberto Rios to the Angels. On the die cut auto, that is uh, seventy nine to three ninety nine. A Jose Luis Pena going to the DPL. J. Dot Pena. Nice. And a Colt Emerson the Mariners. Sure. Sure. You know, and, and, uh, I, I get it, DAT, for sure. There's a uh, Enrique Bradfield Jr. on the primary colors, followed by Eric Batanti to the Brewers. It's 429 and 499. And a Mitch Jeb to the Pirates. Nice Mitch Jeb there on the die cut auto. That one's uh, 128 to 399. A Logan Wagner going out to the Dodgers on the Hidden Gems auto. And a base two, Rhett Lauder. So yeah, like how does that work? I, I there must I, that can't be the send straight from the seller thing. That can't. I don't, did you read that DAT? Because uh, that would you'd be trusting that seller quite a bit if you wanted to send it straight to PSA from the seller. I don't know that that. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's getting to be a, just a monopoly everywhere around the well it's the, it's it's the world we live in right fall apart. There's a Kendall George, the Dodgers, forty three to two seventy five, followed by a Mason Montgomery. Where's Mason Montgomery going to? I don't know if I pulled a Mason Montgomery yet. That's going out to the Rays, hitting gems on him. And then we got a uh, Jace Borfin. Blue Jays, followed by a first round materials, Mr. Miles Naylor and the A's. <clears throat> yeah, we'll know soon for sure. All right, I was gonna say because I would, I would definitely not be okay with that sending it straight from having a seller send it into PSA for me. No, thank you. Hey, right? no, thank you at all. There's Gino Groover to the Diamondbacks, one sixty-three, four ninety-nine, followed by a Garrett Bauman to the Braves on the base sticker, sticker 
A two. Ooh, that's pretty nasty, whatever that is. We'll see in a second. There's Braden Taylor to the Rays. And a Kyle Teal to the Red Sox. Pretty solid uh, chunk in there. As a blue first round materials for Mr. Kyle Teal. One of three. Boom. Pick number 14. So Kyle is going to be. Kyle will be in uh, Bowman. I think they have a release date for Bowman now. I think that it was May 7th. No, that, that might not be right. May. May something. <laughs> it's in May. Early May. Oh, God, yes. I'm super worried about that. There's no way that I would do that. Anything. There's Jacob Gonzalez. And we got a Garrett Forrester to the Pirates. That is 33 of 200. And a Jack Hurley to the Diamondbacks. That is a base sticker auto. Followed by a Jackson Cox. Jackson Cox. Impact Impressions going with the Rockies. And a Colt Emerson. I do not like how the Triple E packs open this year. Go back to the old packaging. All right, that's a uh, Dylan Cruz out of the Nats on the primary colors. Tommy Troy Green going out of the Diamondbacks. That is uh, 364, 499. And then Alonzo Treadwell to the Astros on the uh, base sticker auto. Followed by a Nathaniel Mercedes. That's going out the DPL as a prime numbers auto. So we'll see what variation it is. Is an A, numbered 35 and 200. And our base is a Thomas White to the Marlins. Final pack here. So get your Bears Bowl numbers ready. All right, a Gino Groover going out to the Diamondbacks. Followed by a Cole Carrig to the Rockies. That is a gold. Prime numbers gold, so I always stage up golds. Should be number 10, or 24, sorry, 5 of 24 on that gold. And we have a uh, Max Anderson to the Tigers on the prime numbers auto. That is a prime numbers A, 14 of 200. We got a Olivia Picardo. Nice one there, going out to the international spot. International spot, killing it in this break. That is the first ever female to play in a Division One baseball game, I think, is, is the shtick on her, right? Something like that. And we got a uh, walking Noel going to the DPL. All right, that'll do it, ladies and gents. Now it's time. If you got a team this break, go ahead and get your guesses in the chat for the Bears. It is a number between 1 and 100. I need you to guess and put in the chat. I will then random a number between 1 and 100. You are trying to be the closest under or over to my number. If you are one of those two guesses, you will get a pick from the bowl. If you guess the number and the money, you're going to get them both because you are a badass. One guess per person is all you get, though. Even if you got multiple teams, you still only get one guess, and you must at least have a team in this break to make that guess. So if all that is true, get your guesses in the chat now. Now I'll random the number after the recap. Uh, DIT, you want to put in 55 for Thomas M for me, please? 55 for Thomas M. All right, and here is our recap. Here's our hidden gems autos. We got a base in Montgomery um, to the Marlins, uh, right, Rays. Logan Wagner, that's going out to the Dodgers. A Gabriel Rincon to the Phillies. Joe Lamp to the Guardians. Chase Hampton to the Rockies. Gabriel Rincon to the Phillies. And then Colby Thomas to the A's. And our base sticker autos, we got Alonzo Treadwell to the Strohs. Jack Earlier to the Diamondbacks. Garrett Bauman to the Braves. Joe Vitrano going out to the uh, Dodgers. Jake Bloss to the Astros. Dylan Custad to the Twins. Jake Cunningham to the Orioles. Giovanni Rodriguez to the international spot, a Connor O'Halloran going out to the Blue Jays, and a Jason Savakul to the Cardinals. All right, Impact Impressions autos. we got Jackson Cox to the Rockies, Tyler Locklear to the Mariners, a Thomas Harrington to the Pirates, Sal Stewart to the Reds, and a Tucker Tolman going out to the Blue Jays. All right, our DPL autos. I thought we got one DPL patch. Did I not put that somewhere? Oh, it is in there. All right. All right, all of our DPL stuff. We got a DPL patch of uh, Israel Estevez. 
followed by a Nathaniel Mercedes on the prime numbers auto. That's numbered uh, 35 200 on the prime numbers A. DPL signatures, we got a Braylon Fuentes, Eric Pena, and Jose Luis Pena. Followed by a Kyrus Reyes on the base sticker auto and a aspirations die cut of Yasel Garcia. That is number 29 of 76. We did get one uh, couple of non-auto uh, nice low number cards. A Tommy Troy, prime number C to the Diamondbacks, number one of nine. And a Cole Carrick, prime numbers gold, uh, number five of 24 to the Rockies. And then our relics. We got our future threads. We got one orange parallel. That is number 16 of 199 of Nolan Chaniel of the Angels. Then we got a Connor Burns to the Reds and a Brock Wilkin to the Brewers. And our first round materials, we got one orange parallel of Thomas White to the Marlins, 36 of 199. Then we got a Miles Naylor to the A's, Bryce Matthews to the uh, Strohs, a Rhett Lauder to the Reds, and a Paul Skeens to the Pirates. And then uh, our prime numbers autos. So, oh, that was the, that Picardo was not a prime numbers auto, it was just a base sticker auto of Olivia Picardo going out to the international spot. And then we have a prime numbers A, Max Anderson to the Tigers, number 14 and 200, and a prime number C, Jose Perdomo to the international spot. Nine of nine. Pretty solid auto there. Excuse me. All right, we got our uh, die cut autos that are going to be numbered to nine, uh, 399. We got a Mitch Jeb to the Pirates, Alberto Rios to the Angels, a Dylan Campbell to the Dodgers, a Eric Matante to the Brewers, and Sammy Stafford to the Reds. A couple of uh, aspirations, die cut autos Alex Clemente to the Guardians at 16 of 70, and a Isaiah Drake to the Braves that is 8 of 87. And then we have a Kyle Teal on the first round materials, blue parallel numbered one of three with pretty sick patch in it there. Congrats on that one, Red Sox. And then we also got a 250 points and 150 points, which I will random off here shortly. So, they, they do work quite a lot. It's sunny down there in the Dominican Republic, but you know, you know, where the shades, man. All right, rolling some dice. This will be all be time to read to get our Bears Bowl number. That is going to be a 10. And time. So without further ado, welcome to the stage. The start of the show is the main event. It is the Bears Bowl. Kaboom. Vive. Ha ha, yes, we shall rip some vive. It's coming up next. <laughs> All right. If you know, you know. There's a lot of if you know, you knows around here. All right, guys, uh, follow me over. Well, first, I need to set up the uh, team random here. Oh. Man, didn't we just random last night? Why is that? How come, how come clipboards on computers is so lame? Only holds, like, ten things. So lame. All right, I got to go back. I got to. Damn. Pull it from the internet again. The list of the MLB teams in alphabetical order. I always get it from the same website, though. So it's pretty quick. Alright, there we go. But I need to add the DPL. Follow me on over here, and uh, we're going to uh, have a list of all 30 MLB teams and the DPL and international spot. So, um, I'm going to random this list, and I'm going to do that 10 times like I said. Whoever's number one at the end of the randoms um, is going to get the 250 points, and whoever's number two is going to get the 150 points. So, good luck. Once. Twice. Three times. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. There we have it. The Cardinals are going to get the 250 points, and the Giants will get the 150 points. As you can see, I randomized that list 10 times like the dice said, and these are the two winners. So the Cardinals and Mike K is going to get the 250 points. And then uh, the Giants 
Oh, you want to put 56 in for Mike K as well? The AT? Sorry, I forgot about Mike. Uh, I, I have been. Mike, I apologize, dude. I've been forgetting about you lately. It's not on purpose. Not on purpose. All right, uh, yeah, DAT, if you want to put in 56 for Mike K, that'd be perfect. All right, and then the Giants and Steve C, you're going to get the 150 points. Okay. That's a done deal. And now we can go over to the home screen. You spelled that wrong. Alright, uh, I'm gonna do this ten times as well. Once, twice, three times, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Thirty-eight is our number. Three, eight, thirty-eight. So, looks like I think Keith, you're gonna take the over. Keith, I forgot, of course. I forgot to send those two big league, uh, I think it was what, the Marlins and the Rockies or something like that that you bought. And they asked me to send them with the nights before. As I said, I could probably figure that out. I didn't figure it out. Yeah, I completely dropped the ball on that. So I still have them here. But I will send them with this order for sure. I appreciate you, man. All right, so anyways, um, I think Keith's going to take the over at 43. Yes, and Sandy, you're going to take the under at 34. Do you believe, right? Yeah, so Keith, uh, Sandy's going to be a little closer. So Sandy, give me a 1 through 21 first. And then Keith, give me your 1 through 21 after after Sandy. Um, for those who do not know, the number between 1 and 21 will pertain to which item you get out of the bowl. I guess while I'm waiting here, I can change break number to 2550. That is our Leaf Vive coming up next. Sandy goes with two. All right. And Keith. Here, one through 21. Excuse me. And a case of the honors. All right, as soon as we get Keith's number, here we can cruise on. Yeah, hey, Jimmy, you know you ain't got to have a team to kick it, brother. You can just come hang, man. Just come hang, say what's up. Hey, hi, James. What's up, brother? Be like, what up, Jimmy Dub? Nah, it's always good seeing you, man. Always good seeing your name on the list. Or it's even better to see your name in the chat. I guess is what I was trying to say. I want to say, Jimmy, that you even predate Jim here in top tier. I, I think that you were in breaks before Jim was even. I don't know about Jeremy Stapleton. He gets in every so often still, too. Jeremy S. gets in every so often, too. And he was, you three are the longest running ones that are still getting into breaks, which is, uh, which is amazing. I appreciate you guys. Three years later, right? All right, uh, so Keith, I think uh, I'll give you another about 10 seconds, and if not, we'll just. Uh, Give Keith a number, and, and how I usually do that is just add up the, the numbers in the guess that Keith made. So Keith made it 43, and so that will be 4 plus 3 equals 7. Yeah, not many, though. Not many. For sure not many. Yeah, you were, but I think you just, I, you, so I think you would have been, like, your first break, I almost thought you were, like, right at the beginning, like, in the single digits, possibly, but 
maybe your first break was in the 40s or 50s, like break number 40 or 50 or something like that, in those numbers. All right, DAT, you want to put in seven for Keith E for me? Let's throw seven in there. We're going to give Keith seven. And Sandy gets number two, so here we go. Two and seven coming out the bowl. We got one and two. And go out Sandy, you're going to get two packs of 2022 Topps Chrome Sonic. And moving on, this is three, four, five, six, and seven. And going out to Keith, I'm sure Keith would be okay with that. That is a team in SL5. So Keith, when you if you rewatch this or you see that, um, you do you win a team in SL5, which is a free break uh, that you can buy into with tokens as long as I have them in the start. Yeah, I, I was thinking is in the like earlier than that too. Uh, And DAT wasn't far behind either. DAT wasn't that far behind that either. And the, or what was your what did what do you think? What did we realize your first break was DAT? It's way back there, right? So anyway, Keith, uh, that is SL five. That's what you need to know, right? If you end up rewatching this, and uh, I will let you know when that does happen. Uh, you are the 18th spot in that. Dodgers are number 25. So, Keith, you'll have a spot in that break. Um, I'll let you know when that does fill. That is going to have about $250 worth of product in it. I do not know um, what that product is quite yet, though, but I will message you when it does fill. And, yes, everybody else that's looking, I assume as soon as I post that, it's going to fill because there's only 12 spots left in that one. Um, and a lot of people got tokens. Uh, um, so... Anyway, so Keith, yes, SL5, and I'll message you on eBay when that's ready to go, or I'll tell you if you're, I'll also post it on my Facebook group in there as well. All right, 25.50 coming up next, Leaf Vivid, and I will, uh, um, and I will uh, be back in just about 10 minutes. We'll do that.
What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Top Tier Breaks. I'm James with you, as always, and I'll be doing your reaping of the final break this evening. We have finally made it. <laughs> Many apologies for everybody who's been waiting. As it is release day, it tends to get away from us most times, as I said before. So we're around 45 minutes late on this one. I do very much apologize. But we are here now, so let's get this open. Let's see if we can get this... Uh, do I need to... Let's see, let's see, let's open, let's, let's cut down both sides, see if we can get this to dump a little bit here. They really packed them in like sardines here this year. On this, uh, these cases, it's, uh, it's not the easiest, it's not the easiest to, uh, dump these. But I think I got it. Let's, let's see. Probably a shit show, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. Oh, stay there, stay there. Well, I mean... We're getting better. It's getting better. It's getting better. There. See that? See a little trap door I made? That was a... So smart. <coughs> Maybe. Viva la vivid. Indeed. What do I got going on back here? Did I move this... Should we put me down here? We should put, let's just put me right here. We're just gonna put me right here. And this is where we're gonna, <laughs> that's where we're gonna keep me. No, I, should I be down here? No, I think up there is best, right? That's weird, I don't like that. I don't like me down there. How about me over here? That's interesting and different. Right here seems good. I'm getting dizzy. I'm not gonna do that. No All right. All right. Here we go. We got uh, twenty-five fifty. Uh, twenty-twenty-three Elite Vivid full case. We got a Diamondbacks Justin R, Braves Roy G, Orioles Justin R, Red Sox Roy G, Cubs Ryan L, the White Sox Roy G, Reds Erica V, the Guardians Kurt D, Rockies David H, Tigers Don F, Astros Roy G, Royals Ruth M, Angels Sandy M, the Dodgers Keith E, Marlins uh, Roy G, the Brewers Darren O, Twins Bryce S, Mets Chris R, Yankees Roy G, A's Chris R, Phillies Patrick T, Pirates Ryan W, Padres Roy G, Giants Justin R, the Mariners, Brian O, Cardinals, Roy G, Rays, Tomas M, the Rangers, Patrick T, Blue Jays, Marcus F, and the Nats, Justin R, with the Kurtz, Mazzana, White spot going to Andrew G, and the Holiday, Picardo spot going to Justin R. It really is where no nothing's really happening, right? Is down there. That's that's kind of I guess why I decided on it being up there, right? All right, eBay sweepstakes. What's up, Bryce? Yeah, let's go. Uh, to be honest with you, I pulled that guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Leska Le 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 Vesper Vespa Ves Ves something. <laughs> it's goddamn something. Uh, gosh darn, excuse me. It's gosh darn something. Oh, uh, David Festa, that's it. Festa. Festa, the Fort Knox, that is the uh, Leaf Vivid Boxes. They take up so much room that they do not cross, so I gotta open, I gotta do that to them. And then we're still not there, right? Still not there. Still not there. Still not there. We are We are there now. Yeah. Now we're there. Okay. All right, here we go. We got Don Mattingly on the Silver Crystal going out to the Yankees. Uh, that one is number two of nine. I will stage up uh, all of the autos. Uh, these base card parallels will get top loader during the sorting process. This is Green Crystal, Big Poppy, the Red Sox, two of four. And then a uh, as a yellow mojo, colorful combos. Brady House, Yohani Morales going off to the Nats. That is number nine of ten. Followed by Yohani Morales to the Nats on the silver crystal or gray crystal, excuse me, eight of nine. 
Then we got a River Ryan on the Black Crystal going out to the uh, Dodgers. That one's numbered one of five. We got the Abimelech Ortiz on the Red Mojo Technicolor. That's going to the Rangers. And it's numbered six of eight. Okay, we'll do that. And a uh, George Lombard Jr. on the Technicolor Orange Crystal going to the Yankees. That is numbered one of three. Maybe we'll get another uh, laser hot box here tonight. Didn't get the first laser hot box that we've had last night where all cards in the box are a one of one. And laser parallel. Get you a Festa. All right, there's an Arjun Namala to the Blue Jays on the red prismatic, one of eight. A Abimelech Ortiz to the Rangers on the green crystal, that is one of four. Got Emmanuel Bonilla, that is a gray prismatic to go to the Blue Jays, dazzling performers, that is number four of nine. All right, a uh, orange. Crystal, Brando Maia, George Lombard Jr. going to the Yankees. On the colorful combos, that's nice. We're going to be number three. That is one of three. That's going out to uh, Roy and the Yanks. There's a uh, Luis Perales going to the Red Sox on the Technicolor. A yellow crystal. It's numbered five of ten. And a nice Hojo. I <laughs> finally pulled a Hojo. I not pulled one of these yet. So Chris is getting that Hojo for the Mets. That is the Imagination. Um, there's only uh, 10 of these, so 7 of 10. No parallels on those. And a Paul Skeens on the Gray Mojo. Dazzling Performers to the Pirates. That is numbered 1 of 9. different actions to getting one of these boxes open. I feel like we're going to find, I don't know. I don't know. All right, we got Jacob Wilson on the red mojo going out the A's. That is five of eight. Followed by a Griffey. There he is. There he is. Griffey in the big coat. Right, uh, gray prismatic going out the mirror, seven of nine. We have a purple prismatic Adiel Amador Chase Dollander, nice color match to the Rockies. That is numbered one of seven. And a Yumin Lin on the yellow mojo dazzling performers to the Diamondbacks. That is numbered nine of ten. We got a white prismatic Rhett Louder to the Reds. Uh, number five of six. Right? Right, Amy? Where was the Hojo last night? There's a, uh, Miles Naylor on the blue crystal. Dazzling performers to the A's, four of seven. And a Jacob Wilson on the white prismatic to the A's. That's number four of six. Laser Doc was pretty good. Ooh, ooh, got one of the die cuts. We have not had a die cut yet either. Look at that. A little die cut action. I wonder who that is. There's an anti Paguero on the white crystal going out to the uh, Marlins. That is four of six. And a Blake Dunn on the purple crystal. That's going out to the Reds. And number three of seven. We got a Bryce Matthews on the gray prismatic going out to the Astros. 
was numbered five of nine. Should see him in uh, 2024 Bowman, yeah. And we got a Brock Wilkin on the uh, gray crystal going out to the Brewers. That is two of nine. And a Jairo Iriarte on the black prismatic going out to the Marlins. Or Padres, excuse me. Padres. That is numbered three of five. And we have a Will Warren to the Yankees on the green prismatic. That is numbered one of four. And a nasty, uh, vivid dream die cut of Paul Skeens to the Pirates. Those are pretty nastified. We're going to cut that sleeve. There we go. Man, they don't make these easy to damn top load. Holy crap. Or soft sleeve, anyways. That's pretty gnarly looking, uh, pretty gnarly looking die cut right there, though, to be to be honest. That is uh, one of one. Yes, I thought all those were one of ones. All those vivid dream die cuts. That's a tough card right there. I don't believe there to be any. I, I need to look. We're going to look real quick. Hold on. I want to say those are extremely tough pulls. Okay, that is a vivid dream yellow layer. Yes, they are all one of ones, and there's only 56 of the cards involved. So that is the only one. They're vivid dreams yellow lasers is what those are exactly. Vivid dreams yellow lasers. Not sure why it's yellow. Maybe the laser itself is yellow. Um... Yeah, they should, those ones should come top loaded. But there is, that is the only skeins in the whole set. Right? That's the only Paul skeins in the whole set. There's only one of everybody in the whole set. There's 56 of those in total. So that's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Congrats on that one, Ryan. Yeah, for the jacked up price, they definitely should. I hope that Leaf. I mean, here's the thing, too, is that, uh, you know, I, I, if Leaf. Does that with every product there? I mean, I'll be done breaking it. Won't have any choice. Or maybe we'll break like one or two cases of it or something like that. But uh, yeah, at, the, at these these prices, no thanks. All right, we got a uh, Jacob Gonzalez on the gray mojo going out to the White Sox. That is numbered three of nine. <laughs> or we'll just have to do uh, random teams or something like that, or, or pick your teams on the Facebook group. We got a Mookie Betts on the uh, purple cr uh, prismatic, one of seven. Nice Mookie to the Dodgers, and a Jordy, Jordy Vargas to the Rockies on the yellow mojo. That is six of ten. <clears throat> All right, and we got a Brailer Guerrero on the green prismatic. <clears throat> going out to the Rays, <clears throat> four of four. Yeah, it was, in, in my estimation, I think it was uh, the, the Vivid cases this year, I think were $500 more than the Vivid cases uh, released at last year. $500 more. No, I, I mean, some extra cards, right? I think that Vivid only had the six autos last year, and now they have less autos, though. I think last year still, I'd have to go back and check. I want to say last year still had six autos per box, 12 box cases with 72 autos in them, right? Or maybe maybe that was still... I don't, I don't remember. I miss when, when Leaf was 12 box cases, six autos per box, 72 autos, and that's what you get. You know, that, that, that was Leaf, like 2021 Leaf Metal. 2021 Leaf Pro Set. Those type of... Anyways, there's a uh, red prismatic Technicolor Blake Mitchell of the Royals, 5 of 8. And a uh, black mojo, dazzling performers, Dylan Cumming, who's on the Giants. Dylan Cumming, his staff, he's a Giant, right? 3 of 5. Off-limits. 
All right, and then we got a green mojo. Roman Anthony, Kyle Teal going out the Red Sox. That's a pretty nice one there. Uh, two of four. You know, I don't mind if they charge extra if they're adding value to the boxes and the uh, taking away one auto and adding two numbered base cards that are not auto, that's not adding value in my opinion. That's not adding value at all. <laughs> it's always off limits. I didn't do anything. I specifically said what the card was. That's it. Dylan Cumming is on the Giants. Your mind's in the gutter. That's so not my issue. There's a white mojo air out of the Yankees, two of six. And we got a Wade Meckler. Black mojo going on the Giants, one of five. And a Ty Pete on the uh, purple crystal. Dazzling performers, uh, six of seven. To the Mariners. And a nice purple prismatic colorful combos. Dylan Head, Hyro, Iriarte to the Padres. That is numbered one of seven. And a Jose Rodriguez, the White Sox on the yellow prismatic technicolor. That's uh, six of ten. There we got a Kyle Teal. Nice one there to the Red Sox on the red mojo. Dazzling performers, four of eight. There. And a Tommy White that's going out to the uh, Kurtz Mazzano White spot on the uh, um, gray, gray Mojo Technicolor 1 of 9. Strand, strand on the gray mojo going to the reds number three of nine and a dylan head on the white crystal going out to the padres that is numbered four of six and a badass tony la Russa, that is a super prismatic gold technicolor one of one tony la Russa to the cardinals going to roy there she be, Uno de Uno. Super pr super prismatic gold is what those are called this year. Hey. Indeed, super prismatic gold. There's red floods and super prismatic golds, one of one. Gold one of ones and teal one of ones as well. All right, we got a uh, purple mojo. Technicolor, Ty Floyd to the reds. That one is numbered one of seven. And a David Festa. There it is. Yes, not skunked. Price. Not skunked with the Festa. Don't you get you a Festa, man. Uh, that is a yellow mojo technicolor. David Festa to the Twins, 8 of 10. The lone subject on the Twins checklist. We got a Luis Matos on the purple prismatic going out to the Giants. That is number 3 of 7. And nice Ethan. I think I've pulled an Ethan Holiday in every case so far, which is a good thing. All right? Um, there you go, Justin. That is a white crystal Technicolor Ethan Holiday, two of six. His bro just got called up today and played. I didn't check to see how he did. And that's going to the uh, Ethan Holiday Picardo spot. Um, going out to Justin. I have not seen an Olivia Picardo yet, though, out of this set. Apparently she's in it. Oh, right. Then we 
got Walbert Urena on the Black Mojo. Going out to the Angels, 2 of 5. Well, by a Stan the Man musical going out to the Cardinals. That is a gray crystal, numbered 1 of 9. We got Chase Dolander to the Rockies on the Green Mojo. That is number 2 of 4. We got Josh Knopf out to the Brewers. That is a red crystal, Josh Knopf. And is number 2 of 8. Then we got a Hurston Waldrip going out to the Braves on the uh, purple mojo. That's number 2 of 2. Nice little number 1 there. And a Luis Angel Acuna on the yellow crystal dazzling performers. It's going to the Mets. 5 of 10. And Sweet Jackson Cheerio on the Green Mojo Technicolor to the Brewers. That's number two of four. All right, four boxes left. I'm gonna pull. We need one of those anime uh, animation nation or anime nation. Well, we do have a printing plate in here. I did see the rounded corners that are characteristic of a printing plate. So, Adrian Santana going off the Rays on the gray uh, crystal that is two of nine. Followed by a Volpe on the purple mojo going off the Yankees. That is number two of two. Nice Volpe there. And a Blade Tidwell in the Mets on the Orange Crystal Technical. That one's number three of three. And our printing plate is a non-auto printing plate. What is up with that? They forgot to put the sticker on it. Boo! Boo, Leaf. It's a Carlos LaGrange going out of the Yankees. But we're going to boo him because that was supposed to have an auto on it. That was supposed to have a sticker auto on it. 100%. 100% was supposed to. And it got forgotten. Got him. Alright, anyways. That is a magenta. Dazzling performers. One of one printing plate. And nastiness going off the cubbies. There is a red mojo. Colorful combos. Fernando Cruz, Matt Shaw, Seiya Suzuki. Number three of eight. Ooh. Sweet Doc Gooden on the black prismatic. That's going to the Mets. And is number four of five. And the Vivid Burst Yellow Kaleidoscope. Evan Carter to the Rangers. That's another one of these that are only ten of each. Uh, with no parallels. Nine of ten on that one. Going to the Rangers. I feel like I should get a prize, you know, besides just the cards in the set here, right? Besides just the cards, I should get, I should get a prize in this box for as much work as I gotta do to get inside that, the, the, each one of those boxes. Craziness. There's a yellow crystal Braylor Guerrero to the Rays, 7 of 10. Followed by a Braden Taylor to the Rays as well. That's a red crystal, 3 of 8. And a Kendall George to the uh, Dodgers on the one of one Technicolor black printing plate. Didn't forget the auto on that one. Which is good. Bag it. Can't tag it because I ain't got no stickers. All right, we have a yellow crystal. Blake Dunn, Sammy Stafura, Christian Incarnacion, Strand. Colorful combos. That is number two of ten. Beauty. And a Sammy Stafura to the Reds on the Gray Mojo. That is uh, 5 of 9. Jesse Orozco to the Mets on the gray, uh, Red Crystal Technicolor. That is number 4 of 8. And a Nick Kurtz to the uh, Kurtz Bazana White Spot. That is a Yellow Crystal Dazzling Performers. 
Nick Kurtz, number 10 of 10. Two boxes left. There's a yellow crystal Bryce Matthews that's going out to Strohs. Number 9 of 10. Followed by a Chippa. Chippa Jones on the uh, red mojo. That's going out to the Braves. Number 3 of 8. And Austin Charles Blake Mitchell on the gray mojo colorful combo. Duel. The Royals, number 1 of 9. Sweet Vladdy Guerrero Sr. Um... All right, so I got to double check where the guy did. Pretty sure he goes to the Nats. Yes, Vladdy Guerrero Sr. goes to the Nats. And that is uh, Imagination, Vladdy Guerrero Sr. 7 of 10. Another one of those short printed inserts. That's pretty badass. And what do we got here? We got back to back street signs? How many autos have we pulled out of this so far? Anyways, how about some street signs? I've not pulled these yet. These are nasty looking. Those are cool. And that's a one of one. Uh, super prismatic street signs. Gold Wade Boggs. Going to the Red Sox. Roy, how about another Boggs, man? That's, that means three nights in a row, dude. Three nights in a row with a Boggs auto for you, man. How about that? Those street signs are super sick, too. That is a one of one super prismatic gold street signs, Wade Boggs. That's nasty. It's nasty. That card looks kick ass in person. Yeah, they look. The street signs look super sick, especially this one. Super awesome. And then uh, that's not all. How about a street signs, uh, Mr. Smoltzy? Going out to the Braves. Los Bravos. You're going to get that one too, Roy. Uh, this is 10 of 10. Those street signs are pretty kick ass, man. And this is a pretty kick ass auto here, too. That is uh, Red Prismatic. Mitch Jeb, O'Neill Cruz, Paul Skeens to the Pirates. 4 of 8. Man. That box was nasty. Box had uh, that box had had all the fun in it. Now Wade Boggs one one and John Smoltz that had a uh, one of one. Kendall George we had a uh, triple Skeenis O'Neill Cruz Mitch Jeb a Vladdy Guerrero imagination. Yeah, two in one box is crazy. That was a that was a crazy that was a, that was honestly a pretty crazy box. All right, final box. We have a Mariano Rivera on the black mojo going off the Yankees. So that is one of five. Nice uh, Mariano. Nick Kurtz. The Kurtz was on a white spot on the yellow mojo. That's uh, nine of ten. You got Ivan Melendez to the Diamondbacks on the purple crystal. That one is number three of seven. And a Jacob Gonzalez to the White Sox on the red mojo. That's number eight of eight. O'Neill Cruz on the gray prismatic. Let's go to the Pirates. And is number four of nine. Here we got an Arjun Damala on the uh, green mojo that's going out to the Blue Jays. And number three of four. And our final auto. I'm down to my last top loader. I got set now, too, so that was perfect. That is a Rainer Arias going out to the Giants on the white crystal. That is number four of six, and we'll end the break. So now's the time, people. If you got team in this break, go ahead and get your guesses in the chat for the Bears Bowl. It is a number between 1 and 100, and you should guess and put in the chat. 
I will then random a number between 1 and 100. You are trying to be the closest under or over to my number. If you are one of those two guesses, you'll get a pick from the bowl. Guess number out of the money, you're going to get them both because you are a badass. One guess per person is all you get, though. Even if you got multiple teams, you still only get one guess, and you must at least have a team in this break to make a guess. So if all that is true, get those guesses in the chat now, and I will random the number after the recap. Here's our, uh, all of our Dazzling Performers Crystal Parallels. I will only name the player, team, and what it's numbered out of. If you want to know the full name of the parallel of the card, uh, just watch the break as I did say that when I pulled each card. So here we go. These are Dazzling Performers Crystal Parallels. We've got Nick Kurtz out of 10. A uh, Luis, Acuna, uh, Luis Angel Acuna to the Mets out of 10. A Ty P to the Mariners out of 7. And a Miles Naylor to the A's out of 7 as well. Our Technicolor Crystals. We got Jesse Orozco to the Mets out of 8. Blade Tidwell to the Mets out of 3. A Ethan Holiday to the Ethan Holiday and Picardo spot out of 6. A uh, Luis Perales to the Red Sox out of 10. And a George Lombard Jr. out of um, 3 going out to the Yankees. Then our base crystals. We got a Rainer Arias to the Giants out of 6. Ivan Melendez to the Diamondbacks out of 7. Josh Knopf to the Brewers out of 8. A Brock Wilkin to the Brewers out of 9. River Ryan to the Dodgers, that's out of 5. And a Yohandy Morales to the Nats, that's out of 9. All right, Technicolor Mojo parallels. We got a Jackson Churio to the Brewers out of 4. A David Festa to the Twins out of 10. A Ty Floyd to the Reds out of 7. We got Tommy White to the uh, Bazano White Kurt spot out of 9. And a Abimelech Ortiz to the Rangers out of eight. And our Dazzling Performers Mojos. Um, Bryce, just need team and break number off the back of the skunk card. That's your redeeming? Yep, uh, out of the, uh, the, the uh, team and break number off the back of the card that you received in the mail um, that you're redeeming there, Bryce. All right, we got a uh, Kyle Teal of the Red Sox. That is out of eight, followed by a Dylan Cumming to the Giants. That's out of five. We got a Yumin Lin to the Diamondbacks out of ten. And a uh, Paul Skeens to the uh, Pirates out of nine. All right. Rays in 2447. All right, cool. I was going to say 2547. Wait, we just did that one tonight. Uh, yeah, no, that, that'll work. Thank you, Bryce. All right, and then we got our base mojos. We got our Namala to the Blue Jays out of four, followed by a Jacob, Jacob Gonzalez to the White Sox out of eight, a Sammy Stafford to the Reds out of nine, Hurston Waldrip to the Braves out of two, Chase Dollander to the Rockies out of four, and a Yor Jordy Vargas to the Rockies out of ten. All right, we got one Dazzling Performers. Uh, these are all our Prismatics. One Dazzling Performers is Manuel Bonilla. So somebody asked you earlier, did any of these guys make it? Well, that is his actual, um, he was from the DPL, Emmanuel Bonilla. As you can tell from his auto, still got the E dot, right? And still printed. Um, but that is actually his, his uh, that is actually his uh, DPL image as well that they used on his Dominican Prospect League card. Kind of crazy they keep using that. Anyway, uh, out of nine, going to the Blue Jays. Then we got our Technicolor Prismatics, a Jose Rodriguez of the White Sox out of ten, and a Blake Mitchell of the Royals out of eight. All right, we got our base Prismatics. We got O'Neill Cruz of the Pirates out of nine, followed by Dwight Gooden to the Mets out of five, Luis Matos of the Giants out of seven, Braylor Guerrero to the Rays out of four, a Will Warren to the Yankees out of four. We got a Jairo Ariarte to the Padres out of five. Bryce Matthews to the Strohs out of nine. Jacob Wilson to the A's out of six. And a Rhett Louder to the Reds. That's out of six as well. All right, then our, uh, we got a lot of dual autos tonight. There are a lot of uh, multi-autos tonight. Um, and a lot of uh, just an overall pretty gosh darn good break there. All right, here's our triple autos. We got a... Jeb Cruz Skeens to the Pirates. That's out of eight. 
a Duns to Fura Encarnacion Strand to the Reds out of 10. We got a Cruz Shaw Suzuki to the Cubbies out of 8. And our dual autos, we got a Charles Mitchell to the Royals out of uh, 9. Sounds like a dude's name, Charles Mitchell. A Dylan Head, Jairo Iriarte to the Padres, that's out of 7. I'll just name the full names. Roman Anthony, Kyle Teal to the Red Sox out of 4. Uh, Adil Amador, Chase Dollander to the Rockies, that's out of 7. We got a Brano Maia, George Lombard to the Yankees out of 3. And a Brady House and Yohandi Morales to the Nats out of 10. All right, then our uh, short printed ones, all these ones are only have 10 copies of each, no parallels. So we got a Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Uh, these first two are Imagina Imaginations, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. to the Nats, 7 of 10. And a Howard Johnson to the Mets, that's out of 10 as well. 7 of 10, we got the Evan Carter Vivid Burst Yellow Kaleidoscope. Going to the Rangers, that is 9 of 10. And the Street Signs, John Smoltz to the Braves. 10 of 10. Then our one of ones, we did get one, two, three, four, and five of them. Let's go ahead and add it to the ticker right now before I forget. All right, so we're going to add five more to the ticker, so that makes 310 one of ones pulled on this very stage since January 1st of this year. Our goal is 600, and I think I'll get there no problem. Yeah, 310 in just over three months. That's pretty good. All right, um, just definitely, aver definitely averaging more than two a day. All right, all right, we got a. Uh, this is a nasty uh, street signs Wade Boggs. That's a super prismatic gold Wade Boggs. Uh, one of one to the Red Sox. Then we got a Kendall George to the Dodgers on the black printing plate. A uh, that is a George or Carlos Lagrange to the Yankees, but they forgot the auto. The auto was supposed to be on there. I promise you. It's a dazzling performers uh, magenta printing plate. And a super prismatic gold technicolor Tony LaRusso to the Cardinals, one of one. Followed by the nastiness that is the Vivid Dream die cut. Paul Skeens, Vivid Dream yellow laser die cut. Paul Skeens. That is a one of one. And the thing that's special about these is there is only one of those. Right, there's 36 players on the checklist, I think I said, right? And only everybody only has one. No printing plates, to, to my knowledge, of any of them. Maybe there is, maybe there's not, but I wouldn't see why on a die cut there'd be printing plates. Anyways, just one per player. So that is a super duper duper tough pull. Right there, and very solid card. Uh, congrats on that one, right? All right, let's roll some dice. Let's see how many times we're in. We get our Bears ball number. Uh, it's not gonna be enough. There's a little snake eyes action. It has to be five or better. And that time we got there. How about two fives? Big ten. So without further ado, welcome to stage the start of the show's main event. It is the Bears Bowl. <laughs> fifty-six. Did I? I said fifty-six? It's because I am a dummy. Yeah, there is hundred percent. All right. Um. Before I forget here, Bryce, let me add you your 500 tokens. Hmm. Doesn't look like you got your subscriber tokens either, Bryce, so I'm going to go ahead and add 700 to you. 200 subscriber tokens and your 500 for uh, redeeming the skunk for the raise in 2447. So here we go. Follow me on over to random.org. We're all randoms. Now we're going to do it 10 times. Once, twice, three times, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 26 is our number. 26, 26. It looks like uh, Sandy, you're going to win again. So uh, Sandy, you're going to take the over at 34. You are, what, eight away? And the under is going to go to Bryce at 17. So, S Bryce, I think you're a little bit closer than Sandy. No. Sandy, you're closer than Bryce. So, Sandy, you go ahead and give me a 1 through 21 first. And then Bryce, give me a 1 through 21 after Sandy. You actually can give me two. One, uh... Numbers between 1 and 21, as you did redeem a skunk, and you got 
baseball. One there. So Sandy, give me your one through twenty-one first, and then Bryce, give me two one through twenty-ones after that. And then that'll do it for the break tonight. It has been a long day for me. I'm ready to just chill. I should do some sorting, but I'm just ready to chill. So that's what I'm gonna do. Chill, and then tomorrow will be a new day. It was a very it was, that was a very solid leaf break right there. I will say so myself. Really, that is uh, that was a badass leaf break. For shiz. Nope. Alright, uh, Sandy's gonna go two and Bryce goes with nine and eleven. Alright, here we go. One and two and going on to Sandy. Sandy, you're gonna get uh, a team in SL5. So what that is, Sandy, is a completely free break. Usually I list them in the token store. Uh, it costs 2,000 tokens per team. The break has $250 worth of product in it. I don't have it listed in there. At some point, this is going to fill up through the bowl. I still don't have that one listed in the token store because I've been dragging my ass on that. Anyways, so that's a completely free break with $250 of product in it, and you've just won one team in that break. As soon as that break fills, I will message you via eBay and let you know um, when the date and time as that break happens. It still has 11 spots to fill in that break, so it's going to take a minute. I would give it a couple weeks uh, before it probably is ready to, to break. But I will notify you via eBay about that. All you need to remember is that you have a team in SL5. Sandy. So congrats on that one. You're going to get a Jason Dominguez. That is a silver pack rookie of Jason Dominguez from 2024 Series 1. Pretty solid pull there. And 10 and 11, you're also going to get a pack of 2024 Top Series 1. So there you are, my friend. Congrats on those pulls, both of you. And we are a wrap for Wednesday Night Breaks here at Top Tier. So I will see you guys back here again tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Some same fun ripping. Actually, I think pretty much the same thing tomorrow night. We're gonna, but I think the heritage is in the middle. I think we're doing triple E heritage, heritage fitted, if I remember correctly. So I'll see you guys then. And until then, remember if they keep making it, I'm damn sure gonna keep breaking it. And until I see you guys again, you guys be good. Stay safe. I'm gonna catch you guys later. All right, peace out.